Lindsay Kate Leeshack here. The will serve you on street news. Right now, I'm outside of the Seal and Serif High School where one kid just last week was brought out into an ambulance after a drug overdose. The Orange Street News has been speaking to high school students and they say that the drug problem is spiraling out of control. Here's one student now. Can you tell me a little bit about the drug problem the Seal and Serif High School has been facing? Um, recently there's been a lot of drug overdoses and I've noticed from when I first started going to Seattle's Grove High School that it, um, the drug impro problem increased quite a bit with a lot of getting into hardcore drugs such as heroin, um, sometimes even meth and cocaine, not even more stereotypical calm drugs such as marijuana. Oh wow, and how do the kids get these drugs? How do they get them? Most likely from Sunbury. I know there's people who go over there and they'll buy them, bring them back, and distribute them amongst everyone in the school. According to sources, drugs that are being used by students include spice, molly, meth, heroin, cocaine, Vicodin, and Xanax. All those needles being found by the OSN all over Seals Grove, those are being used for students to do drugs too. People have been finding needles all over Seals Grove. What what are they for? They the needles are for heroin, maybe a little bit of a crack. A handful of times a year, dogs enter the school and sniff lockers looking for drugs. However, sources told the OSN that students found an easy way around it. The do drug dogs don't go into the classrooms where the students are. So the dealers no longer keep their drugs in the lockers. They take them with them to class because they don't bring the dogs into the class. This leads them free to do drugs in the actual school. I asked the students where the drugs are done, and the answer is shocking. In the bathrooms, mostly. In the welding room. Don't, and, don't the teachers ever go in there? Um, we... They'll do them in the bathroom stalls so the teachers don't go into the stalls. And if they go into the welding room, or it already smells like a whole bunch of burnt wood and metal, so the teachers may not even pick up on the other mixed sense of if they do smoke in there. So do you think the teachers are aware that Seon's Grove has a drug problem? The teachers are very aware. I know they just had a meeting about it um, Friday, Thursday or Friday about it and they discussed the recent overdoses and the recent spike in the more hardcore drugs. Can you talk a little bit more about the overdose that happened recently? Um, I know about the most recent overdose was this past week. I don't know who it was or anything like that. I just know um, it, the cops were called. I, I saw, I walked past the nurse's office. I didn't see into it. It's none of my business and just know that I, I, that was an overdose because ambulance was there and that in the school. In the school, yes. I don't know if it was early in the day, so I don't know if they did the drug at home and the body didn't react until later, or they did it well in school. What do you think that Seals Grove can do to prevent the drug problem? I would say most likely try to get the kids as much help as they possibly can. Um, the people at Seals Grove themselves, as in teachers and things, can't do much other than call the hospital or the police and their parents. So they can just try to get them needed help and resources they need. That's right, heroin, coke, spice, and molly, all being done behind these doors. The OSN has reached out to Superintendent Chad Kors and will post his comment in full. I'm Hosey Kate Shack. Thanks for watching.